What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Uncommon Sense. If you're new to the channel, I want you to take a look around. Once you figure out that this is the place for you to be, I want you to do all three. Like, comment, subscribe. First off, I want to give a big shout out to Dr. Rose Chaperone. What can I say? She's my angel. When I tell you guys, Dr. Rose Chaperone always hooks me up with something fresh, new, exciting. Big shout out to Dr. Rose Chaperone for her great taste and always sending me something fresh. Back at you today with another niche first impressions video. This one is a three in one for the House of Mancera. Our fragrances that we're going to do first impressions of today are Velvet Vanilla, Precious Oud, Yardine Exclusif. You guys already know what time it is. You already know what we're about to do. Y'all know what we came in for. We about to get into this thing. Let's go. Welcome back, Uncommon Sense fam. And again, I want to thank you always for tuning in to Uncommon Sense Presents. Uncommon Sense. I've been slacking and was just going through a little bit of a slump. Hadn't had myself together, but I'm back at you guys. I had to do a little self-care, shave up, get my locks retwisted. Well, all the things that's required when I'm sitting up here having conversations with you guys about smelling good, looking good, and all these other things. So who would I be if I didn't have myself together? First up, we have Mancera's Velvet Vanilla. Velvet Vanilla is real nice. Of course, there's some vanilla, some sweetness in there. The best way for me to describe it is that it smells like sugar cookies. More than likely, this was a gourmand. I smell something slightly floral in the background. It's got a creaminess too. What can I say? Dr. Roy Chaperone, thank you so very much. You just, uh, you just get me. You're my fairy perfume mommy, and I love you so very much. I also want to give a shout out to Dasha David. Dasha, I know Velvet Vanilla, your sister recently just used a lot of your Mancera Velvet Vanilla, and we posted up in a group over at Perfume Corner. And I think that's actually that she bought you a new one, so shout you out too. I'm going to go out on the limb here and say Velvet Vanilla is going to lean a little bit more to the feminine side. However, I can see some gentlemen being able to pull it off. Who knows? It's totally up to you and what you guys would want to do. If I had to rate this one, I give this one a solid seven and a half out of 10. It's fresh, it's sweet, it's floral. It's kind of sexy too, so. Mancera's Velvet Vanilla, I'm gonna still stick it at about the seven and a half range. Still about a seven and a half for me in, in terms of the likeness scale on a scale of one to 10. It's something real creamy sweet gourmand and like i said this kind of reminds me of a snickerdoodle it smells like a snickerdoodle cookie to me if you guys have never had one go to mrs field tell them you want a snickerdoodle cookie they'll hook you up shameless plug for mrs fields i need some i need some residuals and some royalty not bad next up mancera's precious oud the backfire on me now precious oud some a little dank about it has to be the oud it's, it's woody but it's got a incense dankness. I've smelled something like this before. Can't put my finger on what it is exactly. Precious Oud is interesting. We may have to wait for the dry down for this one. It's some mossy about it. Kind of smells like incense in woods. I gotta say, not my favorite. However, a lot of the fellas rave over Precious Oud. It's not my jam right now. If I have to rate this one, I'd say this one's maybe a six. We'll check back on it for the dry down. Now, we'll say this. Precious Oud kind of reminds me of... It doesn't smell like Hindu Kush or it doesn't smell like... But it kind of puts me in the mind frame of what my room is going to smell like if I'm smoking. I usually always burn incense. So it kind of has that earthy, woody essence that I kind of like. But it's just not my favorite on my skin. Next up, dry down for Precious Oud. 
Precious Oods dry down. Again, it's it's woody, it's earthy, it's a little incensey. Love the scent. I just don't know if I like it on me. I'm gonna upgrade it to a seven. I don't hate it, but I don't know if I'll be getting a full bottle of this one. Moving on to Mancera's Jardin Exclusif or Mancera's Exclusive Garden. Let that dry down a little bit. I must have sprayed too much. My body English. Woo! Yardin Exclusive. Off top is something that smells like Dove soap. It smells very fresh. It's floral. It's a little sweet. I like Yardin Exclusive the most. I'd give this one. I'd give this one a 10. It kind of reminds you a little bit of Jean-Paul Gaultier's Autre Mall, but this one, it's a little less sweet and a little more floral and fresh. And for that, I love it. I like fragrances that are fresh, clean, sexy. That's just my bag. Yardine Exclusif may be my next purchase from the house of Mancera. It's something so fresh and clean and sweet about Yardine Exclusif. It was a 10 in the opening, it's a 10 in the dry down. On my skin, it smells like Dove soap, but there's some floral in there and just a hint of sweetness that reminds me of Autremont. I love it. It's still a 10 in my book. So to be honest with you, even though I love Autremont or Ultramel, once I empty Ultramont's bottle, I'm more than likely going to give me a full bottle of Yardine Exclusive. Won't lie, can't lie. It is what it is. It's absolutely my favorite out of this batch and bunch that I've done today. There you have it. That's my synopsis. Those are my first impressions of Mancera's Velvet Vanilla, Precious Oud, Yardine Exclusif. That's my three and one for the day, you guys. I want you guys to leave me a comment, a like, and a subscribe. Let me know of this three, which is your favorite. Have you heard of these three? Do you have any of these three? Let me know in the comments. And I also, I'm always taking suggestions. Drop me a comment. Let me know. What do you think my next Mancera purchase should be? I want to thank the Uncommon Sense fam for always supporting the brother. I love you guys from the top, bottom, and sides of my heart. This has just been the tip of the iceberg. We're actually almost to a thousand subs. Applause, applause, applause. Clap, clap, clap. We're almost to a thousand subs and I've been thinking about what I'm going to do to commemorate hitting a thousand subscribers. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to give away four full bottle fragrances out of my collection to four lucky subscribers. You guys got to definitely comment, like, and of course, subscribe. Let me know in the comments if you want to be entered into a 1000 subs giveaway. That's probably going to be coming up soon. I'm only 100 away. So let's see what type of magic we can get happening for hitting that milestone. Excuse the train behind me. They're being rude as I'm having discussions with you guys. Let them pass. Since they want to be heard, you know, I get it. Well, I want to be heard. It is what it is. But I really want to thank you guys for hanging in there with me viewing my content, sharing my content, giving me pointers about what to do next, what's working, what's not. I really appreciate you guys because without you all, there's no reason for me to be here. And I just want to continue to share my experiences and my love for fragrances with you guys because this is one of the things that makes me happy. All right now I'm doing this for free just because I love it. What I love to do to be able to give back to my creativity allows me to upgrade my channel and do additional things. Again, it's been your boy Uncommon Sense. I love you guys so, so very much. I'm out. Till next time. All right.